All right. Hello, everybody. And, uh, okay, so seeing as how Minecraft was recently updated, uh, Better Than Wolves has uh, not been updated yet, so I cannot play uh, New Age as I usually would at this time. So we're going to take a little detour into a uh, lovely little game called Dwarf Fortress. Technically, Slaves to Armok, God of Blood, Chapter 2, Dwarf Fortress. This game is famous for being the most brutal and complicated game ever. Uh, the slogan of the game is, losing is fun. There is no way to win. You just play until you lose. Anyway, it's uh, it sounds kind of fun, so I figured I would try it. This is my first time playing it, and uh, yeah. So the way this game works is you begin with a static world. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new world. Okay, welcome to the alpha. Alrighty. So we're going to create a medium world, a short history to reduce um, to reduce uh, generation time, and some frequent minerals. Uh, let's see. Looks about good. Natural savagery. Very low. Whatever. We'll just leave those at medium. Uh, we'll put that at low, actually, since it's my first time. Alright. Now we'll hit Y. There is no mouse in this game. So we can watch the world generate. More than likely, I'll just fast forward through a lot of it. Okay, looks like we've settled on Mundan Gudon, the portentous domain, as our world. So now it's now it's generating each of the regions, and it's generating uh, all the mythology for uh, for this for this world. We can see the historical figures counter, and then the number of events counter, and what year we're in. So I'll just leave it at that. All right, we have finished our world. This means that we can move around to view the world that we've uh, generated. So you can see we've got some nice continents and everything. So, this is actually ridiculous. And the entire game is in ASCII, or text. So we're gonna, we're gonna call this good. I'm going to accept this world. And now it's, now it's saving it. As if that wasn't obvious. All right. And here we are, back at the uh, back at the main screen. So we have create a new world. We also have this new option, start playing. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna do a dwarf fortress because that's the fun part of the game. So now we begin choosing our region. So we can you can see in the uh, right most box is a simplified version of the entire world. You can see down at the bottom you've got the ice caps and we've got the continents up top. In the middle is the region area, which was the map we were viewing earlier. So you can, and then on the left is our region. So we're probably going to walk near a mountain, or how about we do find? Okay, uh, we want savagery. Uh, low, evil, low, elevation doesn't matter. Temperature doesn't matter. I don't really care. Rain doesn't matter. Drainage doesn't matter. Flux stone, yes. Aquifer, no. River, yes. Shallow metal, uh, yes. Deep metal, yes. Clay, uh, some, and yes, clay. And we'll do a search. It should pop up with some areas. Searching two out of 81 areas. Three. All right, it looks like we found one. So uh, right there, those three X's. So um, yeah, select. Oh, okay, uh, browse results. Temperate, that's good. Trees, none. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Surrounding serene, nice. Oh, whoops, return to game. Okay. That is, that's not quite what we want. So we'll do clear find results. We can't search for trees, unfortunately. 
So maybe we can find somewhere near here that will that can um, that we can find trees in. All right. So uh, none of these three areas which were recommended for us are good uh, because none of them have trees. Shallow metals, deep metals. Ah. Savannah trees, sparse. All right, woodland. Ah, except that's got an aquifer, which I've been told are annoying. Woodland. All right, there we go. That's got a stream. It's calm. Uh, it has some vegetation. It's got a lot of trees. It's a nice temperature. It's got clay, soil, and a lot of metals. So it is there that we are going to embark. Let's uh, actually, let's begin to move around this one, this square on this side, see if we can't find anything a little better. We can view the biomes, the different biomes in the, uh, there. Yeah, anyways. So, over here. Yeah, we want right here. So, let's do that. Let's, um,. Let's make it a little bit bigger because I want some room to work with. Whoops. All right. And that should be good. We will now embark. I have selected a large area. Choose a smaller area if you experience lags. I don't think I'm going to experience lags. This computer can handle Minecraft. Play now. Prepare for the journey carefully. In the interest of time, we're just going to play now. Apparently our fortress is named Uzolanrel. Uzolanrel. All right. Play now. All right. So here we are. Let's pause the game first of all, and we'll go find out what on earth we're dealing with. Let's hit K and figure out what each of these uh, symbols are: dense ryegrass, regrass, hair grass, meadow grass, fescue. What on earth? Shale ash. There's a nice mountain over here. Uh, what's that? A stray donkey. Stray cat. Oak. Oh, ash is an ash tree. I get it. Okay, cool. Grandma. It's my grandma. Erith Fickodlathon. Expedition leader. Standing on some dense, dense fescue grass. Alright, and it looks like these are metals. So, and this is sandy clay wall, loam wall, dense reed grass, upward slope. Okay, so here we are. We'll, uh, oh, enter the, what is that? Oh, medium size. Oh, okay, yeah. Wow. So, let's see. This game is done entirely with designations, so I'm going to designate someone to chop down some trees. Okay? And I'm going to select all trees from here to here to be chopped down. You can see they highlight. Okay, that's cool. And then I'm going to dig, I'm going to tell someone to dig into this wall here. Right here looks good. You're gonna dig in. Oh, how many is that? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's eleven long. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Dig in that far. Okay, and we'll have another dude gather plants. So just, whoops, enter, enter. So those are the plants that have been gathered. Okay, well if that's the case, we're gonna select a few more plants. All right. So now that we've got that, we'll exit out of these designations. And you can see people are going to chop down trees. And we got a dude over here digging, which is awesome. And no one else is doing anything. The cats are running around. So we'll pause. We will go to. Uh, which one is it? I think O or maybe J. Ah, oh, okay. No job. Woodworker, stone worker, fish cleaner, expedition leader. Alright. So we're going to Zoom Cree. No idea what that. Oh, I center on him. 
He's right there. Okay, cool. Um, so we're going to go to his preferences, labor preferences. I don't know. Oh, okay, I have to use plus and minus here. So we're going to go to farming slash related, plant gathering, and then so we can do plant gathering. Our expedition leader. Oh, and we can hit uh, that to do one step. Oh, very interesting. Alright, so now he's going to be gathering some plants. That guy's still digging stuff out. Okay, cool. Lost game, designations, mine. Let's dig out a small room over here. Uh, right there, and then... Right there. Looks good to me, and I think we'll use that as a storehouse, or a stockpile, I guess. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's another room, whoops, that is not at all the right dimensions. Hmm, whatever. Oh, hey, here we go, remove designation. There we go, cool. And then we'll add that designation back. So we've got two rooms kind of equal, which is good. Yeah, all right. And actually, I'm going to go dig out that mineral there, whatever it is. We'll uh, escape and unpause and see what happens. Dude's just digging out, having some fun. Oh, well, we're on the right handmost side. I wonder what that red stuff is. I hope it's not goblins, because I would die a horrible bloody death. There's nothing to catch in the central swamps. Oh, probably the fisherman, dude. Oh, I've got water. Cool. Um, this guy's just randomly digging stuff out. My cat came inside. And I just realized how poorly defensible this is. Alright, anyways, we're going to wait for him. We're going to designate some more trees to be chopped down. From here to, let's just go pretty close to the huge area. There. Alright, and we'll have another guy. Yeah, that's good. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention about this game. Let's pause this. This game is three-dimensional. It has multiple Z levels. So it's ridiculous. I'm going up Z levels now. And I can also go down Z levels. Which is why I'm now just viewing rock. So what I'm doing is I'm viewing different cross sections of this rock. Right now I'm on level 142. And I can go up. No, that's down. Now I'm on level 140, and I can go up, and yeah. So this is a pretty insane game all around. Once this guy finishes digging this out, we'll designate that as a stock house, storehouse. Uh, designate... which one is it? Oh, it has started raining. What does the rain look like? Oh my gosh, there's like little droplets everywhere. That's just utterly ridiculous. Anyway, I'm trying to find... You can also build stuff. So you can build beds, seats, apparently burial receptacles. Um, but there is a way to designate... There's a way to designate... Um. Uh, what is, what you call them? Stock houses. Unfortunately, there does not seem to be any way to do this as of yet. Well, no, I mean, I, it's there, I just haven't found it yet. Oh gosh, where is it? I'm gonna pause this game and I'm gonna come back when I've found it.
Oh, wait, huh, no, I don't need to come back. Right here, P. Stockpiles. Cool. Um, so, we are going to have a wood stockpile. Right here. So this is all gonna be for wood. And... Yeah, actually, we're just gonna make the whole thing for wood. Nope. Wood. Alright, so there's our wood stockpile. Um, we also need a refuse stockpile, so I'm going to go ahead and designate uh, somewhere to mine where it'll be our refuge refuse stockpile. Take a little bit bigger. And move it from here. Like that. Okay, and that has an opening to the outside which will prevent miasmas, which are bad things. So now uh, we need. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's make a farm. So designate, I believe. Maybe not designate, maybe it's build. Uh, let's see. Farm plot, right here. Hey. Cool. So we'll. Whoops. Oh, huh. <laughs> hey. Okay. Uh, change width. Okay, so. Let's... Oh my gosh. Fine. Yeah, okay, cool. And then. Whoa, what the. Oh, okay, I see. It kind of grows outwards. There we go. Actually, we are going to see if we can cancel a building. Which I believe is under designations. Remove construction and... That. Yes, I want that farm plot gone. Okay, and then... Uh, let's make a, let's see, build, farm plot, P. We want to make it a little bit wider, a little bit taller. That's good. Place. Alright. So someone should be going to build it soon. Provided we have a farmer. Um, doesn't look like we do, so I'm going to go to... Drop list. Fish cleaner, fish floor. Construct building. Alright. We're going to have the expedition leader see if he can build farms. Farming fields. Cool. There's some, why is brewing under farming? Alright, we'll go back. And yeah. So let's see if he will go build it now. That does appear to be what's happening. Oh, see, they're putting wood down in there. He's farming that. Which is pretty awesome. Okay, so now, uh, I think we can build. Or maybe not, maybe not build, but. Um, plant stuff. Um, yes, unfortunately, I don't see it in build, so we'll check designations. Uh, where is it? Unfortunately, I don't see it there. Let's pause the game. Must we do that? Q. Set building tasks. Press. Oh, ha! Here we go. Plump helmets. We want plump helmets to be farmed there. Uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. We're building. Slated for removal. There. There, uh, yeah. A is spring, B is summer. Yeah. 
You aren't there. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to do it. Whatever. Um, plump helmets there. Summer, I also want plump helmets. Autumn, I also want plump helmets. Winter, I want plump helmets. Done. Let's see if they'll start building plump helmets. Oh, I'm paused. They're moving all the wood in the stockpile. Awesome. And he's taking out the refuse stockpile, which is also good. And uh, we can see the farm got removed. Yeah, and I think that is where we're going to cut this. I think we have a farm up and running. Uh, I know we have a wood stockpile. That's clearly working. We almost got a refuse place done. Uh, and yeah. So, uh, I hope this inspires you to go play it. It's a free game. You will not do any better than I have. Well, you might, but... Um, yeah, this is, this is an insane game. So, it's interesting, and it's kind of fun, but... It's insane. So, anyways, I will see you guys next time. Oh, post if you want me to continue this series. So, yeah, I'll see you next time. Oh, hey, look, it stopped raining. Perfect timing. Farewell.